To all known law, in this video, I'm going to talk about the signs and symptoms of severe acute asthma. Right? So what are the signs and symptoms? If you look at the patient, the patient will be pale, like the sensorium, he will be agitated. Okay. Respiratory rate, of course, is raised. Remember, the respiratory rate is increased in even in the mild type of acute asthma. So, respiratory rate is is important, but it will not help you to differentiate whether it's a mild, moderate, or a severe. Okay. Dyspnea is really very severe. Okay. And they will have very difficulty in talking, very difficulty in talking, right? And chest in drawing is there in regards to accessory muscle use, chest in drawing, okay? Chest in drawing, remember. Now let's move to the pulses paradoxes. The pulse paradoxes in the mild were less than 10 mm, in moderate it was 10 to 20 mm, and in severe it's going to be more than 20 mm, remember. Okay, and the wrong chi, the wrong chi will be expiratory or inspiratory or even absent. So one of the sign or a symptom that can help you directly to know whether it's uh, severe or not, just look at the wheezing. If wheezing, if there is no wheezing, means think of it can be a severe type of uh, asthma. Right? Remember, it's not a good sign. Okay. And the most important being P E F R. Peak expiratory flow rate is going to be less than 60 percentage if whereas in mild it was more than 80 in moderate it was less than 80 but more than 60 but in severe it's going to be less than 60 the saturation okay the saturation is less than 90 okay so these are the really very important points regarding the signs and symptoms of severe acute asthma. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.